Welcome folks, welcome to our next adventure. So today we're out here at the Wilds in Johannesburg. The Wilds is a nature reserve that's situated in between Johannesburg and the suburb of Houghton. The park was opened to the public in 1936 and it's had its ups and downs since then. From its popularity in the 70s and 80s to its bad reputation in the 90s for being crime ridden and a dangerous place. Since then there's a gentleman by the name of James Delaney. In 2013, around right about there, he started walking around here with his dog and looked how overgrown everything was and just thought what a beautiful spot and it's unused so he started walking around here, came here, started clipping the pathways got a couple of volunteers involved and he also eventually got the city involved but let's take a walk around here and show you what it is to see one of the great features of this park it is situated on two copies so you've got all these amazing views of Johannesburg from all the different areas in the park Johannesburg named one of the largest man-made forests in the world and you can see with all the greenery around here and these amazing old trees why it is one of the largest man-made forests in the world. As mentioned before and as you can see by the road behind me over here that the park is situated right in between Johannesburg and Houghton that's one of the main throughways we've got Hillbrow right behind us over here and yes that is what the road looks like early in the morning we're gonna walk around a bit more and we're gonna see if we can hunt down some of the artworks that's been installed in the park as mentioned before the, there's a guy by the name of James Delaney who started cleaning up the park and getting it back to what you can see now and as part of that in 2017 he started doing some few art installations in the park here just to attract more people into the park and that's a nice thing to see so let's go and see if we can hunt down a few of those talking about the artwork here's one that you can see over here it's just some big road cones stuck together quite nice it is about half past eight in the morning now so it really is a nice day it's not too hot so we like walking around when it's not too hot the other nice thing about it is if you look on the one side you're up on the hill it's very bushy and overgrown almost like a bit of a forest and now on my left hand side that is sort of the main road i was talking about earlier on and you can see there is people walking around on the main road um, also just going for a hike or some excursion so it really is nice to see people out and about and actually using the park and the surrounding area all over the park there is such interest things to find and to see look at this this is called yarn bombing yarn bombing is a form of graffiti and as you can see it's just crocheted and knitted work that they dress up trees with and that kind of thing all nice and bright colors quite interesting to see this in the park So this nice big butterfly over here is made out of recycled plastic bags so that's quite interesting to see And as you can see all around the park there's 
benches and little tables and chairs for you to sit around open areas so it really is nice to see the park being fixed up and looking so much better okay look, like i said earlier on there is a couple of artwork and art installations all over the park and we've just stumbled upon one of them here yeah, we will show you the big giraffe so as i said earlier on it's all the art that's done around here at the moment these installations was done by james delaney and as you can see walking around it how it just takes shape really nice to see this and this helps just draw more people to come and enjoy the park and just makes things so much better when you've got people actually supporting it okay so we're going to take a walk up to the sundial and we'll show you what it looks like up on the sundial right so we're now in more of a bit of a foresty area and we've stumbled upon more of the laser cut installations look it is a zebra well i think it's a zebra that looks quite cool and that one so tell me in the comments what you think that one is all right guys so as i said it really is quite a nice little park to come and walk in there's about eight kilometers worth of paved pathways for you to walk around here and enjoy there's mostly indigenous plants because they are by trying to get all the indigenous plants back into the park Jock's view. So this is quite a nice little view of Johannesburg. So let's see and do a pan from the one side and show you what the Johannesburg skyline looks like from yeah, at the Wilds. Okay, so this big building on the right hand side here that you can see that is the Johannesburg General Hospital or now called the Charlotte McClatla Hospital and we scan across and you'll see the radio towers and of course coming up over here you can see the building here with the red on the top that is the famous Ponty building. Okay, so we're coming up towards the sundial now. The sundial is situated right at the top of the park, at the highest point of the park. And as you can see, it's all been opened up and some more of the indigenous plants planted around here. So yes, we're going to just admire the view from here a bit and see the actual sundial. some more of the art installation that is some um, ostriches and of course all over the park these people walk around with their doggies so nice to see next time we'll bring our own doggy here we have just stumbled upon the old hot house now i believe this was completely overgrown and up to the roof almost and now they've cleaned it up and started fixing it up so well done again to the guys wow so i'm really enjoying the walk in the park here yeah. it really is nice again to see all the people walking around here yeah. and how uh, beautiful it is with all the flowers and all the plants in here yeah. and just all the nice walkways for you to, to walk around in and the little sitting areas i think we've just found a little sitting area and i think everybody's going to sit around here for a few minutes and, and chill so let's see what there is to explore around here
When last have you seen one of these? I haven't seen one of these for years. A water fountain and wow, it's still working. So wow, it really is quite stunning walking around here at um, the wilds. There's really so much to see in terms of plant life. And it doesn't feel like you're in the city, because as you can hear, it's absolutely quiet where we are here in this little section here now. There's quite a bit of uphill and downhill for you to walk on, get your exercise, but really, for me, it's just to get out here in nature and explore, but see the wildlife. There's lots of little bees and insects and stuff around. And then the bird life, really quite nice. Just enjoying an early morning out doing something different. And there is, like I said before, quite a bit of people out, as you can see. So I would really suggest if you're ever in the area in Johannesburg, make a point of it, come here and come and enjoy this park. It really is absolutely stunning. So look at this beautiful tree. It's a nice green color. Also must have been quite an old tree, this. Let's see what is the name of this tree. This is a fever tree in Afrikaans, a koersboom. Right, so this is the owl forest and all over the owl forest you'll see these little owl figurines, the cutouts stuck all over. So there is a total of 67 of them in honor of Mandela Day 2017 and James Delaney thought that will be something that can actually bring people into the park to come and see this. So yes, have a look around and see how many you can see in the video, but really nice to come and see all the owls in here. So the park is about 100 years old. It was handed over in 1924 by the Johannesburg Council of Consolidated Investment Company to the city of Johannesburg and they said it will just be always open to the public and stay in its natural state. So as you can see they've got a blue black status because of that so very nice. Well there we go. So we've pretty much completed our walk. We're just going to walk back over the bridge again and then we're going to have our soundscape so i'm going to leave the details in the links below if any one of you want to find out more about the wild and what is going on here and how everything is actually changing for the better by the looks of it as, I can, as you can see there is quite a lot of people using and enjoying the park as i've said numerous times today already but it really is nice to see So we've come to the end of our walk here and we are now going to have our sound journey. So we're going to record that and show you a little bit of the sound journey, see what that's like. But like I said, it really is a nice place to come and walk. So if you're ever in the area, come and explore here. It's worth it. Thanks for joining us on this adventure. If you like this kind of video and you want to see more, give this video a like, give us a subscribe and remember keep exploring the sunshine.